This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, December the 3rd. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. We've got a lot of weather ahead of us. Satellite image this morning shows there's, there's lots of clouds over the southeastern United States, and uh, that is because we have a good flow out of uh, the Pacific, especially in the higher levels. At the surface, our weather map features a large high-pressure system centered over Illinois, and that is creating a bit of an easterly flow. So you have a kind of a combination of an easterly flow at the surface and a west to southwesterly flow aloft. And that's helping to generate uh, some precipitation over the area. We'll look at uh, radar in just a few minutes. The uh, upper air pattern, we're generally under a ridge, but uh, we have a very deep uh, closed low over northwestern Mexico. Uh, and that associated trough, and that is tapping into moisture, as you can see, uh, from the Pacific, bringing that moisture across Mexico into the southeastern U.S., and that's going to set up uh, the situation for several days of rain, which, of course, we can use. Temperatures across the area a little bit milder in general. Still freezing mark, especially in the northeastern uh, quadrant of the state of Alabama. Uh, that is freezing and below. But uh, for the rest of us, uh, especially uh, places like Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, temperatures only in the mid 40s this morning. Radar uh, a little uh, a little overzealous with the rain, and uh, the reason for that is that a lot of that rain, especially over Alabama and Mississippi, is simply not reaching the ground. There's a look at the upper air observation from last night from the Shelby County Airport, and as you can see, it is dry from the ground up to just about 400 millibars, and uh, that means that uh, the rain that's falling or the precipitation we're seeing on radar, a lot of that is falling into this dry layer, and it has to moisten that dry layer before it will reach the ground. Watch warning map is relatively clear. We do have flash flood watches uh, along the Texas uh, coast and into parts of southwestern Louisiana. Uh, the purples and blues you see are all related to uh, uh, winter weather advisories and warnings. And believe it or not, up there in parts of uh, uh, Montana, they actually have avalanche warnings in effect. Um, QPF, the quantitative precipitation forecast, is suggesting on the order of uh, two to four inches across parts of Alabama and Mississippi uh, for the next five days. Uh, with as much as nearly eight inches over southeast Texas. So they're really going to get it. Looking a little bit closer to home, um, the uh, forecast of two to four includes northern Mississippi, but it looks like for the next five days, this ends at 12Z or uh, 6 a.m. on Thursday morning. It looks like for Alabama, we're looking at uh, fairly widespread on the order of about one and a half to two and a half inches of rain, and that will certainly help to put a dent, a bigger dent in the drought. Storm Prediction Center has a marginal risk for severe storms today along the Texas coast. And then for day two, uh, there is no uh, actual organized severe weather forecast, just thunderstorms along the Gulf Coast. And then for day three, which is, uh, let's see, got to figure this one out, uh, Monday into Tuesday, we have a slight risk along the Louisiana, Alabama, and Mississippi and northwest Florida coast with a marginal risk that extends up to uh, near Birmingham or into central Alabama for uh, that. Now let's get to the 06C GFS model run. There's the upper air pattern for the, this afternoon uh, at uh, noontime. And uh, we're certainly seeing a good deal of rain develop and the GFS uh, pretty much on uh, spot on with the development of rain over the southeast Texas coast. By uh, Sunday, uh, we have the combination of factors here that's helping to improve the rain chances and bring us a cool, wet, rainy day for Sunday. We have the deep trough and the closed low coming out of northern uh, Mexico. And in addition to that, we have a bit of a trough coming across uh, the north central part of the United States. And those two are, are helping to influence one another. And that's going to basically create a pretty nice uh, rain shield over a lot of the southeastern United States and the Gulf Coast region from Texas all the way over to Alabama. Monday, uh, the closed low uh, weakens as it moves out into southern Texas. Uh, of course, that trough moving across the north central U.S. moves on briskly. Uh, because the trough to the south is uh, and the closed low to the south is a little bit slower. But that is keeping us in this wet pattern and keeping rain over the southeastern U.S. So Monday, another somewhat wet day. And it's going to depend on Monday how warm we get, depending on exactly where the warm front is. Uh, this map would suggest that the warm front at midday on Monday will be to the south of Birmingham. And looking at uh, Cape values, uh, the uh, 
convectively available potential energy. You can see why SPC is keeping the risk of uh, serious storms Monday into Tuesday down along the Gulf Coast. That trough moves out Tuesday to the southern Appalachians, and as it does, we expect to see a surface low move uh, also into the southern Appalachians. And so on Tuesday, I believe our precipitation will be coming to an end as that system moves on. Wednesday, we go into a zonal flow for uh, at least a moment. So that means we're not going to see a real cold, uh, chill down with this pattern. So you can see that uh, we... We, at the surface, uh, we don't have much in the way of a northwesterly flow or a northerly flow. Thursday, uh, we begin to see a, uh, the GFS is developing a bit of a trough over the eastern half of the country. So we begin to uh, have the potential for uh, cooling down, by, especially by Friday and into Saturday. And you can see on Thursday, the GFS suggesting the uh, surface high will be over Oklahoma and uh, northern Texas, and that brings a pretty good northwesterly fetch down. But notice notice that the GFS is dry. When you look at the European, and this is why the, the forecast is not too um, specific right now, but the, if you look at the European, the European is considerably more aggressive with rain uh, over the southeastern United States than the GFS is. So right now, we're maintaining at least uh, low probabilities on the order of 30 40 percent. By Friday, the trough is really in place, so that means that whatever front is going through has moved through, and we should be cooling down quite a bit on Friday. As you can see, uh, the high both to our west and to our northwest, bringing a nice uh, northerly fetch all the way from north-central Canada all the way down into the southeastern United States. By Saturday, the uh, uh, flow has gone a little bit more into a ridge pattern uh, as the big trough moves off. Uh, and so that, once again, uh, will have radiational cooling, so it'll be a really cool morning Saturday morning because we have the high basically over uh, our location. Looking out into voodoo country, uh, the GFS is very bullish on keeping this troughiness over the eastern half of the country. Troughiness is not too extreme by Tuesday, uh, the 13th of December, but by the time we reach the end of the period, around uh, the 18th of December, the GFS is very bullish on a very deep trough over the East Coast, and that has a very, very frigid look to it. Uh, and that's been what many of the models and the, the uh, anomalies have been suggesting. Well, that'll do it for the Weather Extreme video for this morning. I expect to have the next one posted first thing on Sunday morning. In the meantime, stay up with the blog for notes on Alabama's weather. I'll be filling in for Megan. Uh, on ABC 3340 at 6 and 10 this evening so you can catch the latest forecast. And if you're out at the Helena Christmas Parade today, be sure to stop by the reviewing stand at uh, uh, County 52 and 261 there by the post office in the Helena Baptist Church. I'll be emceeing that event. Have a great day and Godspeed.